Hey guys, welcome back to another Sonic Screwdriver video. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at two brand new Sonic Screwdriver replicas that have recently arrived from Little Shop Props. Both of them being the Grey Aztec Series 3 filming prop replica, aka the 10th Doctor's Grey Aztec Sonic Screwdriver from Series 3 of Doctor Who. Here it is here, sitting on its beautiful display stand, alongside the booklet and the tin. So first of all, we'll have a quick look at the tin. Pretty basic, but it does the job of keeping the sonic screwdriver nice and safe inside. It's got some foam padding in there, but as you can see, I've taken it out already, basically just to save us some time in the video. But uh, yeah, really nice tin and it does its job of keeping the sonic screwdriver nice and safe. We also have a A4 document with some care instructions, a bit about battery replacement and stuff like that. And this lovely booklet with some pretty nice artwork on the front. You can see we've got the gray Aztec here, 2006-2007. Tenant Christmas Special, 2006 to Series 3 with the Little Shop Props logo in the bottom corner open it up and we have lots of information on the actual sonic screwdriver prop itself and lots of that's very interesting but i'm not really going to read any of this out it'll just take up too much time but if you want to read that of course i recommend you do maybe pause the video give it a quick read but yeah i really like the fact that you get this booklet with the sonic screwdriver nice artwork on front lots of information in the booklet itself and then on the back we've got the members of the team that put this together so yeah thanks very much guys thanks very much that's what we get in the tin and of course the screwdriver itself with the stand which we'll take a quick look at also of course because that comes in the tin so on the bottom of the stand you get a little sticker with the number of sonic screwdriver you have so this is gray aztec number 16 and the stand is pretty similar to what we've got with the previous little shop prop screwdrivers, but this one is colored green for series three with the little shop props logo there on the front. So yeah, with the stand, you can have it standing upright or we've got these things here, little legs where you can put them in and have the sonic screwdriver laying flat. But most of the time I have mine like this. So I'm just gonna leave them in there, but yeah fits really nicely on the stand. And of course, we'll take a look at the sonic screwdriver itself. So here it is looking rather amazing. Great crackle work on there. Great machining, looks amazing. There's the side slotted screws there, which are accurate to series three. The blue strip looking very good. You can see it's some painted acrylic as it should be, it's not a sticker. So that's very good, very good. And then we've got the ridges, which I really do like the ridges on the gray Aztec. With the uh, shortened end piece, the black end cap. And of course we can't be forgetting the Aztec button, well it's just the button, but it's the Aztec button. <laughs> And uh, yeah, give it a press. So yeah, it's very bright. See, it's got a super bright blue LED in there and it just has a beam, it beams out. So yeah, that's very cool. One sound effect, but it's a really good sound effect. And to be honest, that's what you want so you can So we get some speaker holes on the bottom of the end cap, which are hidden really rather well. So that makes it, uh, you know, a decent volume, I would say, but also included for, you know, people who don't want speaker holes at the bottom. We have a secondary end cap. that's exactly the same, except it doesn't have the speaker hole. So if you put that on, there we go, except it's now muffled. You can hardly hear it. You know, that's why they include the one with the holes. So for people who wanted sound in theirs, you can hear it pretty well. 
so yeah you could go for sound or no sound but obviously i do like to have sound in some of my screwdrivers you know so i went for sound with this one and i'm glad i did so yeah with this being the aztec of course there's no slider so you've got to do it the old-fashioned way the manual way very delicately of course you know by uh slowly pulling it up there to reveal the yellow wire twist yes we've got yellow wires on here on the series one and two version of the gray aztec it was red and black wires so that's one thing that differentiates the series three version to the series one two version but uh yeah pretty good pretty good and it doesn't slide back down or anything so yeah the uh the extension's really good on that slowly slide it back down you can see and you can also like have it um you know halfway or any position really and it would stay so that's good fits down there nicely the emitter dome is a really nice dark blue sticks out i would say the appropriate length really nice struts on there i like them nice and sharp i did mention two of course two sonic screwdrivers and that's because we have two sonic screwdrivers so yes this is also the gray aztec from series three however this is how it looks i would say more appropriately throughout the whole series but mainly towards the end it looks pretty battered like this as you can see this is exactly the same this is also a gray aztec but it's just weathered so this is the weathered version whereas this version is the brand new sort of clean looking version where we still have the button frame and obviously by the end of series three the button frame had fell off and it gone missing at some point so on this version we don't have the button frame however they do little shop props do actually include the button frame for people who did want to put it on so you can just slide it on like that probably push it down a bit more but i'm not going to do that because I don't want it on there. I really, really like the battle damaged look of pretty much any Sonic screwdriver. So the gray Aztec is a real favorite of mine and Little Shop Props have done a fantastic job at recreating the weathered look of the actual Sonic screwdriver body. So yeah, you can see we've got lots of little bits here where it's showing the actual bare metal of the sonic screwdriver body and then there's some more parts there that have been weathered with some darker paint and all of these sections that have you know been weathered have been tried to you know screen match that weathering so i think josh howie from little shop props has done just ama an amazing job at uh, the paintwork it looks fantastic and it literally feels like it's come out of the screen, really. I say that, I've said that before, but with this, it actually does feel like a genuine prop. Went with two, basically, because I couldn't decide whether I wanted a battered one or a new looking one. And, you know, I'm glad I went with both, but honestly, my favorite has got to be this one. Yeah, it just looks, it looks so good. So good, so you can see the button frame well where the button frame would have been there the bare metal and the actual button sticking out so nice beam like that also have the speaker holes at the bottom and we also have another end cap for that but don't have that out of the bag right now it should be still in the little bag with the legs for the stand i've got that one out already but um, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this end cap on it anyway, because I wanna hear the sound. But uh, yeah, there was also damage done to this Aztec Sonic screwdriver. Not, not my one, but the actual filming prop in series two. It was, um, how you say, I don't know. Here, 
on the emitter struts here. There was two, I was going to say bite marks, but <laughs> that's not really appropriate. Uh, I'd say little dents where it's uh, somehow gotten hit off something. So for the rest of the screw, the Sonic screwdriver's life, there's two dents in the strut, meaning that, you know, if, if I wanted to be super accurate here, that I should have the dents in the strut here. And I don't have that on here. It's something I might actually do in the future. I might see about doing that. And also by the end of series three, they had glued it shut. They glued the extension shut. So right here, they put some hot glue and the prop no longer extended. So yeah, by the end of series three, the Sonic screwdriver was looking pretty battered. And I gotta say, I love it. I love it. I love this replica. It's definitely my favorite of these two here. And I have a few more gray Aztecs on the way at some point. So yeah, we'll definitely have to bring these out and take a look at them all again. But overall, these are just fantastic replicas. You know, little shop props have done an amazing job on these. You know, I definitely recommend them to anybody. They are available for pre-order over on their website right now. This was, they did a, an original batch and started taking orders for that quite a while ago now, but they are perfectionists, of course, and they've come out looking perfect. So definitely worth the wait. And they're so popular, of course, that they're making more of them. So if you want one of these for yourself, then head over to the Little Shop Props website and you can pre-order both or either one of these. So head on over there to grab one of these for yourself while you can, because they're not gonna be around forever. You know, I definitely recommend picking them up because they are amazing. And I'm just so happy to add both of these to the collection. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.